Alan, it's really good to have you here today. Um, as a Paralympian from the 1980s and um, a European champion in blind athletics, it would be great to get your ideas for tourism businesses on what they can do to make their attractions, their hotels, more accessible for you as someone with a visual impairment. So what are your top tips? What are my top have? tips? Well, sometimes it's just not the physical access, it's actually the customer care and the service that you get. Um, some bad examples of what I've ha encountered is people pointing and using like non-verbal descriptions of where things are. So to say it's over there or that the room is down there, which doesn't really help. The positive experiences that I've had is where people, when I go to reception, have asked me about my sight loss, which I don't mind being asked about, have either had a large print form for me to complete or have offered to complete it themselves. And then it's actually the experience of being taken to the room, shown around the room, told what's in the room and where it is, um, the experience of going to the restaurant at the hotel, uh, large print menu, um, also the way that things are perhaps described to me as well, because um, sometimes restaurants and bars aren't the well, most well lit areas. Sure. Um, for going to experiences or attractions, um, the things that I really enjoy are audio tours, mm -hmm. um, large print information, um, and especially um, going to the theatre, which I do, um, going on a touch tour, which is usually an hour beforehand, but you get to feel the costumes, actually get to uh, meet some of the actors and actresses. And recently we went to Warhorse, which was a really wonderful experience. And then the actual play itself is um, having audio description, so I get a commentary of what's going on, um, so that I can access the theatre or a football match when I go to watch football, the same as anybody else would. Sometimes uh, we don't have the most accessible venue, but what can make it really work for me is um, the customer's care yes. that I get from the staff. So it might be that you might have a white plug and a white kettle, mm -hmm. not being able to locate where things like that uh, are. So contrasting contrasting colours, colours so, work yes. really well for me. But again, as I say, being shown around the room, told how the phone works, what the services are in the hotel. For someone who's sighted, they will have a book or a manual or something in the hotel yes. which will tell them all the services that are available. I can't see that, so I really depend on a member of staff, the hotel staff, telling me what's, what's to available. To the information yeah, in, in absolutely. the folder. Yes, Excellent. that's right. And small little things like that make a huge difference. Yes. And it's about also using some common sense to make the experience just accessible for me. Excellent. Brilliant. Well, thanks for joining us. Thanks it's a pleasure. Time.